Hey YouTube, this is a preview of my next project. I need to get this up on Instructables once I get the code a little bit cleaner. These are what I'm calling living, living photo frames. I had a bunch of Comic-Con art and I wanted to show it in a way that was uh, allowed me to show a lot more artwork per frame. And so I started out with just still images. And then I realized I can animate the images and do something really cool. And so you see here is a Back to the Future poster. And I use the app called Warble to give it some animation. And since they're essentially monitors with Raspberry Pis behind them, they can play any video or audio format that you can play on a Raspberry Pi. And they make sort of some really cool um, frames in the room. Instead of just standard photo frames that are static, you get some really cool effects with them. And so I'm just going to kind of go through some of the artwork here. And what I'm doing is I've got a web server on each of these. And so I can actually switch them at, at will to whatever I want. If I want them to be, let's say, uh, the one on the right to be anime, I can switch it to anime. If the one on the left I want it to be um, a video game, I can have it switch to video game art. Uh, if I want to switch them both over to Disney, I can do stuff like that. Comics. Um, and these are some of the still arts that I can I can do. But oh, sometimes they sync up perfectly. But it, instead of having to choose a single art piece, I can actually navigate through quite a few and have them on just a... Uh, on a cycle of like 30 seconds for an image or play through the video or whatever. And I want to show, I'm switching over looking for certain ones now. So this one here, again, this is a warble uh, of a DeviantArt. And I have that, that art piece right here. This is the original. And this is a Morgan from Darkstalkers. And then you've got the Ryu next to it. And I'll show what that looks like animated. Let's see here. There you go, there's the Ryu animated. So I've animated the fireball, given an effect, and then made his eyes glow. And there's a uh, mermaid. So the cool thing about this is in the end it just shows up as a file share on your network. And you can drag pictures or videos to each frame and it'll automatically go through them. And if you give them folders, then on the web interface, it's not very pretty here, but just to kind of show you, it'll show, it'll list the folders and then you just kind of pick whatever you want to show up there. So if I go down here to relaxing on the left frame, then I get a beach scene. And again, this could be videos or images. The hardest thing, honestly, is finding something vertical. This could be done with horizontal, but the effect works really well vertically. They, they kind of come off as photo frames and they're IPS monitors. And that makes the effect look really, really uh, convincing because you don't get any weird, if you're off to the side, you don't get any weird like uh, dimming of the monitors. They look really sharp. So uh, if you subscribe to my channel, hopefully I'll get a tutorial up here on Instructables in the next uh, week or so. I'm a new dad, so... My project time has definitely been cut a lot shorter than it used to be, but I'm still trying to figure out a way to balance projects and uh, in life. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the subscriptions and the kind words in the comments. If you have ideas or uh, if you have questions on this before I get the Instructable up, feel free to ask and I'll uh, answer what I can. Thanks a lot. Till next time.